I'm going to go get some crystal cave moss. Over here-ish. Wait. Here-ish. Hi, Tremere. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Let's get this bread. We're going to get... <clears throat> Some moss, maybe not bread. Real quick. In order to craft some more. Oh. Some more, uh, rot. Curin boluses. I don't think I've ever been to this cave. But it should be around here somewhere. Oh. I do believe. Uh, where am I now? Oh, I'm too far north now, I think. Hold on. It's part of this little separated... Oh. Yeah, I'm way too far away. I went the opposite way. Does she one shot at the HP? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Forgot who we were fighting. Who we were farting. We farting. Who are we fighting? We fighting. <laughs> By the way, you can summon one of us to drop you some curse rot things to save you some time and at the place if you want it. Oh. Um. Maybe if I need more later. I'm offline right now, so. Uh, because of the stupid issues I was having. I should be. It shouldn't take very long to. Wait, is this it? Oh. Yeah, I think that's it. I guess. Shouldn't take very long to grab some real quick here. Beyond that, I don't I don't remember what the other material is, but I might need more and more. Whoa. Jesus, that was the biggest stutter I've ever seen. Oh, the buds don't respawn in our rare drops. Oh shit. Brutal. There's a bell bearing hunter that drops a bear. A. Oh, a bell for the rock cures. Oh. We do have a lot of. Bump. Hold on. <laughs> Give me light. Hi, rat. Wait. Rat doesn't care? Ooh, what? See, I haven't even been here. Hello. Goodbye. Whoa. BB doesn't include rot cures. What's BB? Hello, Dot Geist. How you doing? Oh, bell bearing. Oh, yeah. I was like bloodborne. I was like, what? <clears throat> this is a good R one damage too. Hey, stop! A lot of crystal cave moss here. I like it. Don't. Oh, the poise. Okay. Paying me back a little bit. Okay. Um, this cave was one of your least favorites. This is a Skyrim cave. Elden Ring tabletop? <clears throat> did you watch the Critical Role? Elden Ring uh, broadcast they did? That was kind of cool. Catch up on the no-hit accomplishment of the Souls gonna be quite impressive. Five games in a row, no hits. Yep. God God run. Is that all I should do, maybe, in a run? Maybe that's it. 
In-game balance discourse. I am not privy to that discourse. What are people saying? Hephaestion, 10 months. Reddit did to do 11 months. The Thimmies, Vis, the Miss Vis, and Catherine. Thank you for resubs. Welcome back. Whoop. Mm hmm. Plenty of crystal cave moss. Crystal cape moss. I guess just the four and then reset. I need to put this on a bar if I'm going to keep doing this. All right, fingers up for Elden Ring with guitar. Elden Ring, Perry Strats, Millennia. Hmm. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Ooh, character minis. Hello. Screw minis. What about full out, full on action figures? Thank you, Red Robert. Hello, Vincent Hudo. I'm tired. We lost an hour. Probably get on Moss now and considering the rarity buds. Probably. Oh, wait. Oh. Exceedingly rare to find. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm. <clears throat> I mean, if I run out of consumables, I may need to step. Boop, 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 boop. What the? Exceedingly rare. You heard it here first. Okay. Billy Bad Cables. Thanks for seven months. Noah Belt, ten months. Thank you all for the resubs. What weapon is this? This is a plus 25 misery cord. Uh, for Sacramental Bud, Bridge of Iniquity, Grace, and Altus, south of Poison Castle. Straight east across the bridge to Rithe Blood Ruins. The Blood Blob and the Bleed Dogs. Mm. Okay. Bridge of Iniquity Grace. Let's go. Let's go do that real quick. Poison Castle is here. Mm. Okay. East to the Blood... The Red Blob. My character is purple, yes. I don't think there's a slow regen FP talisman, no, but there is one that will regen talisman, uh, re regen FP when you kill enemies. It's very small, the regen, but it's something. Sick Doritos, thanks for nine months. Welcome back. Hmm. Yes? Winter Schnee Fee also. Welcome back. Plus 25 misery. Oh no. Oh, well, there's a couple. <laughs> and these are respawn? Oof. Well, that's rough. I didn't know that when we were uh, getting all dedicated dude to doing this. Oh boy. Hey dogs, any in here? Yes. Okay, nice. Nice. Uh, nice. Hey! Big stutter. Yeah, big stuts, man. There's another one. Jesus. Oh, my God. It's probably because I'm, like, on the border of a loading zone and I keep running around in it in circles or something. But luckily, I don't need silky smoothness right now. Just in the melon. Melon fight. <laughs> Millennia fight. 
Second location is Plague Church, Millicent Church. Okay. I'll go grab those. Just We've been there. Oh, no, my runes. High level PvP, everyone is using Bleed, Frost, or Katana builds. You know, time you was against pure melee boys. I got bored with that. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't envy the PvP scene. Let's see, that's, uh, I'm always anti-meta for that reason. Oh, hello. <clears throat> well, still nobody here. Wow, there's a lot I didn't pick up here. What about around here as well? Yes. Hoarfrost. Oh, Hoarfrost Stomp. Well, there's quite a few here, actually. And can you get multiples off of these? Or is it always just one? I, I haven't noticed. Stop, like, panting and dying. God, I get it. I think I've only seen one. Stuttering seems worse today. Want to buy a stutter patch. Oh, no, no. Oh, there's some. Mm-hmm. Hey. Okay, cool. Let's craft with those. It's cold 86, four months. Welcome back. I'm going to stab you. Item crafting. Nice. 20. 20 more. Okay, cool. I expected as much from the... We can kill her with that many uh, bolus uses. Halig tree roots. Sawney! Gifted a sub to Chain Reaction. Welcome, Chain Reaction. Any of the match respawn in the game? That one does not. Apparently. Sacramental Bud does not. Some of them do not, because they're rarer. Um, but, yeah. You're back every day to keep all of them or something if you die. No, no. Although I do want to make a backup for if I ever want to fight Millennia on Soul Level 1 again. So let's do that. Thank you for making me think of that, though. Uh, this game is called Elden Ringe. Yeah. See, I had a Soul Level 1 Godric save. I didn't make any other saves, man. I saw one. Millennia. Nice. Let's get to it, shall we? Of course I would do it again. What's your favorite part of Rune Level 1 run so far? This! Let's go. She doesn't heal when you parry her, no. Not because she doesn't hit you. Ahem. <clears throat> Good first attempt. I have not hey Hyangja. Mm hmm Be sure you're telling us your name over and over yet. I mentioned a guide for dodging Millennia's attacks. I mean just Google on YouTube. Google on YouTube? Google means search, right? Google does own YouTube, that's true. Shit. That's the one I gotta look for every time. That's what I told you guys to remind me of I'm sucking. 
Assume that's coming. Wolfie, thanks for the resub. Think it'd be possible to do the AI summon only run. Millennia would be tough because she would heal off the mimic a lot. Look for that one every time. Thank you. No thoughts, only parry. Exactly. I haven't tried parrying dagger, but it's only because I know Buckler's better. Time for a stutter. Weird. Oh, we just started Holy Relic. Third try. Well, for the day anyways, yeah. We, we did two hours yesterday. She doesn't have any SFX. What do you mean? <clears throat> what mixtures in my physic? Bubble and strength. Which could be dex, but not a big deal. No RTSR actually because uh, if I get rotted, I'll instantly die. And actually, it's I don't know that it winds up being better damage. We did a bunch of damage testing yesterday, and she's going past me with that. It's hard to kill her with parries and without. For you, maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're doing it solo. Mr. Jigglypuffers, thanks for the 41 months. Welcome back. I don't think they're instant parry frames, no. But they are faster than regular parry. Sorry, Nico, welcome back. Phase two insta kills you. Tears of denial, denial style spell. Um, I don't know. I haven't done spells yet. There is a bubble on the, um, on the flask that we will use in phase two when we get there. 
Yeah, I wasn't parrying that attack, Sinjet. I was parrying the... I preemptively parried for her fast attack, which is... Just me waking up, you know? wall. That fucked me up, dude. Man, he stutters. Gotta fix that shit. Right, that fast attack now gives you more openings now. Huh? Speaking of fast one. You end up finding rel reliable because it's a way of dodging the flare attack with when up close without the need of shield slash bl bloodhound step. I didn't need to because you can do it with shield on soul level one, so. I was going to start learning the uh, dodge method, which is you just dodge through her for the first one and then dodge the rest the same, but I didn't need to. Now we do get rotted in the second phase, but we've got boluses for curing that. Maybe if we run out of those, I'll need to, but... Hello, Moranosaurus. Stepping back and right for that parry definitely helps. NYC Monkey Prosperous Leech. Welcome back, friends. Thank you for those resubs. Shit. I'm dead. See, that's... I mean, I'm just preemptively parrying sometimes. <clears throat> uh, no bleed frost in the tile, probably for people suggesting it's not asking. True General Kenobi, 71 months. Welcome back. Hephaestian, five gifted subs. My goodness, RQT, wow. I am... <clears throat> flustered by your generosity. <laughs> Here we go. 
What? Oh, that was a delayed. Delayed notification for Hephaestion. Thank you again. I appreciate you. Lobo's name. Nice. Configuring the NVIDIA control panel to get rid of stutters. There should be guides for Elden Ring by now. I don't think it's, uh, it's not my, like, system or anything. It's just their optimization. You have to back up, back, well, you have to, you have to back up and right in order to do that spin par parry. And that one you need to go forward, otherwise he's too far away. Whoops, I didn't do anything there. I can optimize? I, I can't optimize their code. Shit. Wow. Thanks for four months. And Tatharen, welcome back. Getting there. Head avoid the second part of her flurry. I can show you how to avoid all of it when she does it. She'll do it at least once every fight. Or every phase one. There's a reference to Lobo. It's not a reference to Lobo. It just means wolf in Spanish. Just realized you weren't following. Hi, Charlie Chibi. No problem. Thanks for following. Blade of Mikkel... Mikkelob Ultra? Or light. Blade. Or Michelob light ultra ultra light. Well the bosses that start with M well the characters that start with M are like The ones that start with R are like children of Radagon, and then the ones that start with M I think are children of America and Godfrey. Um I believe. Oops. I was reading chat. I was trying to, to read what the comments were on that. What's actually America and Radagon? Uh, Malay and, Mik and Mikula are of America and Radagon. See, I thought I thought... I thought I gathered from the lore video I watched that that's what it was the other way around. You know, there's a real deal with the initial letter means something. Uh, it might not, but that's what I thought I had gathered.
We have to play this year's. Well, thank you, Condors Gaming. Why did she do the kick? Blade of you should only do the kick if you're at medium range for like... And don't close the gap soon enough. Uh... Oh yeah, internet, it's... Yeah, it's a whole thing. So we're looking for a new PC sponsor. She's learning your moves. I don't think that's true. I had... I was like trying to fall asleep last night and I had like this idea of like basically putting hold on shit I shouldn't talk while I do this I was doing like a like an AI storyboard for all the abilities that, that she can do <laughs> other things too like I thought about it for other games other enemies but like a little graph of like all of her possible AI choices. Because that's the kind of shit that's in my head when I do bosses like this. Yeah, like a flow chart, exactly. Starting from enter fog gate, you know. Been beneficial to infuse with a blood uh ash of war with how many times you hit her. Um maybe. I'm just not. <laughs> I don't know why the stoves are back. Yeah, the, like the third day, maybe even the, the third day of our first learning on her, like the stutter stopped, which is weird. Stutters, please. I got Blade. I forgot to parry on the other ones so I like dodged out but then getting back in there is always tough why don't you parry her running attack I think it's the easiest attack to parry she doesn't do it I would if she did it but she doesn't do it I did parry that when we were learning her and she would do it but she doesn't do it because I'm never at range is enough time to hit her after the grab or she recovers too quick? It's just, it's too dangerous too for me. Hey, thanks, Haldrum.
Very proud, Halation. Very proud. Shit. Sam, I'm just, uh... Not quite as on as yesterday. You have a crack in a headset, and the mic keeps picking up some buzzing for a moment when I stop talking at Puffs. When we tease and pee, should I get my mic for a stand arm? Should you get a windscreen for a headset's mic? It's a headset mic? Well, you're gonna get... You're gonna have a ceiling for how, how much quality you can get on a headset mic, but, um... Yeah, windscreen will help with the p p p pops. Um, a noise gate can help get rid of room noise. But, uh, beyond that, like, without treating your room for, for sound or just having a better quality mic, it might be tough to get much better. I don't think you can parry the upward slash, otherwise I would be. Yeah, Rot will proc with one flurry block in the uh, in phase two. So weapon art on the shield that makes you survive the flurry. Yeah, uh, barricade shield. But you can do that like if you're doing not soul level one, you can do a tower shield or just a great shield. You know, that's what I did for the first kill of her. How many hours into this are you? Twenty minutes today, anyways. Thirty ninety, by the way. I have restarted the PC recently. Are you able to just strafe the upward slash? Yes. If you doesn't seem to be that good, just give it to you. Okay. You read the Xbox app can cause these stutters, having the same issues. I don't... I don't think I... I might have the Xbox app because of... Minecraft? Xbox Game Bar? Xbox Console Companion? Is it doing it? I don't know what it's doing. Anyways, can the 20 cards perform better than the 30 cards in this game? Why don't you roll the flurry? Um, I do. I block the first part and roll the rest. You have a 1660 Ti and don't have any issues. I don't know what to tell you. I don't think it's my equipment. It's or uh, or settings. Why are Mariner the best bosses? They're great. They're very good. I am 
blade of my I don't know why. Always getting in close. Getting in close and then a, a fuck up after every once in a while this is how, how I died to parry, from parrying in this. You have a 2016 episode? It's the game. Yeah, I mean... Once, these, once they fix the problems, there won't be any issues. I'm very happy that I haven't been muscle memorying that attack lately. Why, oh my god! Get away from the wall, please. I don't like this. Thank you. Yeah, she doesn't transition if you don't hit her again after the repost. That's the first time that she killed me doing that, though. We transitioned that way like six times. Wizardry, 22 months, welcome back. Well, we explained it before, but there's an issue where if she dies during a repost in phase one, she'll start phase two with one HP. And I believe that to fix that as a band-aid, they make it so that she cannot phase transition until she is fully recovered from a repulsed. And so, um, what I've been doing is I repulsed her for the final damage, and then I do the same thing that I do normally with the three hits, except I hit a fourth time, and the fourth hit will phase transition her. But, this is the first time in the two hours that we spent yesterday that she actually dodged it and then killed me, so... Um, I should just continue the parry. I am Melania. Blade of she starts at like 80% health in phase two, but she's, yeah, she's got another health bar. So we're at Dragon Crest Shield, Talisman of this place, she might not one hit you with it equipped. No, not really. Uh, does this ever sleep? He has another speedrun vid. No, this is not sleep. 3355. Jesus. An insane man. An insane man.
while you kick. Then no, no. just muscle memory off. Hey, Pocket Rhythmic, how's it going? What's your opinion on Millennium Fight in general? Hardest fight I've ever done. Probably best fight to to me in the game. Area after Moog is 100% for DLC. Area after Moog. Hmm. Turtle Mountain DLC. There's a strat for rolling the the flurry, but I didn't need to try to learn it because you can do it with the great shield on soul level one even. <laughs> like, I was so out of position there. Would it be worth to let her kick the block so you can bait a grab? No. Anything doing this over and over can give you bad muscle memory to some extent. No? I don't think so. The It's okay when I make mistakes, I understand. The problem is when I feel like I timed it right and it doesn't work, then I don't know what happened. Like that other one, I don't know why it didn't parry. Like if I'm practicing things wrong, then I'll develop bad muscle memory, but... I knew I knew that I fucked that up. That cool mug? Uh Wild Bill's old fashioned soda pop company. Hurting so much damage at soul level one. That's just how much damage you can do. It's a level twenty level twenty five uh parrying weapon. High crit damage weapon. With Radigan Sword Seal, Blue Dancer Charm, Dagger Talisman, Ritual Sword Talisman. You have the same exact mug? Yep. I got mine at DreamHack like six years ago. Uh-uh. My original millennia kill, I think, is like 18. No, it's not worth going RTSR. Uh, I will get insta rotted blocking the flurry in phase two, so if I was RTSR range, I would instantly die. But with this, I can survive and cure it with bolus and continue the fight. Also, I don't even think the damage is worth it. 20% is so bad compared to Dark Souls 1 RTSR. She could have killed me right there. Just because she does the... She can do the immediate scoop and then slam after the kick. So I cannot stay close after the kick. Does barricade shield not work for the whole flurry? Uh, I don't want it to because she heals every time you block, so... Uh, avoiding the damage there is better. What year does it say on my mug? 
It has years on it? 2016. Six years ago. Hey, <laughs> nice. Yeah, but I'm not gonna assume it's coming, Cutorius, because I want to parry. So if she does something else, then she'll dead angle me and I won't parry. That's my bad. It's the same as yours. Oh, shit. Were you at DreamHack Austin 2016? <clears throat> Get a temp right there? Yeah, Millennia's the best fight in the game, IMO, Twix, bro. With the final fight being a very close second, I think. Can you react with parries? React with parries? Not if the game stutters for a literal qu three quarters of a second. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Ugh. Luckily, we haven't lost too many attempts to stutter, but sometimes it's just... Ooh, Giga Chat fight's pretty great. I wasn't even going to try and parry that. Just like, ugh. I'll try restarting my PC if it keeps getting this bad. It keeps being this bad. Just standard on dagger. I don't have any stats at soul level one, so scaling is useless. Oh. Alcapo, thanks for 17 months. Welcome back. Yeah, my graphics card driver is up to date. Yeah, no bleeder frost. The twirl has later parry time than you think. Yeah. Hmm. I basically the entire time I'm waiting for her to do an attack. I have to assume like she's gonna do the fast one and just watch the top left corner of her like a box around her. And if I see that, just hit parry immediately. Everything else I can see and then wait and then hit the button. Oh shit. Bring the advice who's talking in chat. Oh, well, I was just, I don't even know which comment was yours, but I was just adding on to that. Not countering it or anything. See, I don't know why that didn't work. Because I did what I always do. I mean, clearly the timing was off, but I'm not sure why. Side dashes are so nice to parry. The side dash to my left is the scariest one that she does. If the if the music is warbly, it's a Twitch glitch. Just refresh the stream till it till it fixes. I'll take the stutters outside of the game. Or, I mean, outside of the fight. I am Blade. Why is it three parries for a punish? It is designed that way. The one you strafe looks like the fell omen dude. Are you excited for the Dead Space remake? It's a remake. Yes, absolutely. I'm on the council that's been overseeing, like, what they're doing for the remake. <clears throat> well, I guess we're using our bubble now. What buckler and dagger are you using? Buckler and da- No, not dagger. <laughs> Misery cord. Highest crit rate dagger, apparently. I don't think I want this attempt to happen. Oh, well.
It's a nice bubble. Thank you. Yeah, we've, we've made it to phase two a lot. <clears throat> Yesterday, we got her to halfway down phase two. After like uh, an hour of attempts. Oh, wall. Yeah, wall. If there's a wall behind you, you're going to get wrecked by that. Well, at least with my strength. Yeah, I didn't even realize that Misery Cord was the highest crit, crit weapon. But when I finished the my first playthrough, I just looked through my equipment and I went, Alright, I want a couple of weapon options. And I saw that and I was like, okay, cool. Her summon in phase two? Her what? Oh, not the turtle shield, please. Ah, the specters, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't run into that on Soul Level 1 yet. Little concerned about it, but we'll see. Don't kick. See, if she does that, I'm fucked. If I'm close. I would, Arcady, yeah. At least fighting it normally. Solo without summons. It's too risky to gra after the grab. The most important thing after the grab is that I'm in position for follow-up parries because she can dead angle you like hell. E Enforcement, thanks for 15 months. Welcome back. Okay, I'll stop reading chat while I'm doing attempts because it's easy to lose focus. Easy to lose focus. Phase 2 is a Code Vein boss. If that were true, I'd probably play Code Vein more. <laughs> well, there's the butterfly boss, literally, that you're talking about, I guess. Maybe that's what you mean. With pure walking, I don't think you get close enough for the parry on the initial, uh, on that fast attack. Your experience with the game? That's the, those are the two things in this. Because once you're inside of her melee range and doing the parries, it's pretty easy to control or predict. Just, it's easy to fuck up too, but... Those are where you're going to see the most deaths. Right at the beginning or further in. Like, kind of later in the fight. Didn't hit my dodge in time. <laughs> Chilling boss doesn't lose balance with parry? No. Almost every 
every main boss will require multiple multiple parries in order to get a repost. Like Margit even requires multiple. Margit requires two though, not three. I tried to parry Godric, I couldn't land one, but he might still be parryable. Ah. Uh... Alright, let me try restarting my PC, because I can't do anything about that if that happens. Restart. <laughs> Would a parry only run be possible? No, you can't parry everything. <clears throat> Is upgrading shields any useful? Yes. Well, for... You'll increase the guard boost, they call it, in this game, which means that you take less... You'll lose less stamina from blocking. Would you ever be able to level 1 hurt in New Game Plus? Absolutely. Why not? If you can do it in New Game, you can do it in New Game Plus. The wombo combo is insane. Exalted Flesh? No. No, Exalted Flesh will give us a little bit of damage, which is nice. Like, we can optimize our damage further, but it's a, such a long fight that it's only going to help, like, very minimally. Maybe it'll save us one repost, which is, you know, it's not nothing, but it's a consumable. And if I want to focus on spending a lot of time going out of my way to get other consumables and stuff, it's for me, it just makes more sense to just focus on the fight and then do it right. I have Sontaria, yes. Will I try Hitless? You mean the entire game? Uh, no. I, I've never done Hitless content, really. I've tried on, I think, two occasions to no-hit Dark Souls 1. But I don't do it... <laughs> I just speed run, and if I get hit, then I reset. Oops. The wallpaper? Yeah, if you Google Firelink Shrine wallpaper, that's like the first thing that shows up. So many runs physical. Like, look at the Challenge Runs archive list. Like, you can just look at that, and a lot of that can translate over to, uh, to Elden Ring and other games. Could it be Steam causing the stutter? Well, if it is, I don't... You mean an overlay or something? It could be a Steam overlay thing. It's happened in other games... Let me turn off the overlay. You never know. In-game overlay. <laughs> Zero hit league. Uh, I came in third. Hob was second. CBD was first. If you see the glitch, people have been trying to figure out. No. You updated your BIOS and a lot of issues are gone. I don't... I would be very surprised if updating your BIOS fixed the issues with the <laughs> performance issues. But you never know. Starting game, th uh, starting day three, my in-game overlay started causing me massive stutter slash frame drops. Would be surprised if that's part of it. <clears throat> this is still messing with the zips. Zips. You clicked your heels three times and a lot of your issues are gone. Oh, that's definitely what caused that. Recommended strat for regular millennia attempts. Uh, it depends on what you're trying to do with the fight. Oh, my controller is not active. What the fuck? There we go. Hold on, where's my thumb condom? It's gamer time. Hold on.
All right. Thumb condom. Man, so I was doing some uh, some co-op. Just Margit helping. <laughs> helping people with Margit last night. And, uh... Yeah, I was... I was just kind of waiting to get summoned, you know? Jumping back and forth, just doing whatever. Farting around. And I was very easily replicating complete input eating. Like, repeatedly. I was just doing this and, like, backstepping. And doing this. And, see there, it just ate, it ate a dodge. That's all I'm doing is walking and ate a dodge again. Just backstep, flip, backstep, flip. And then, like, every third or something like that, it just will not do anything. Which is concerning. It just did it again. And again. And again. <laughs> oh, you know what? But somebody said they think it's related to, like, letting go of the stick. Yeah, it's like... <gasps> that's what it is. It is. It's true. If you, like, let go of the stick and press at the same time. Which is absurd. I hope that somebody sees that and like fixes it or something, because that's. Um, there's been a lot of times where I go to heal, you know, and I'm aware of the timings of things and how to queue up heals. And I'm like, cool, heal. And then my character just stands there and I'm like, what? Same shit was happening to you where you look towards the camera and try to roll. It was making you backstep spam. Uh, how does FromSoft get user feedback from these types of issues? I don't know. Uh, I guess through Bandai? Also, that's been killing me a lot. <laughs> this was killing me in the fight a lot, but this is in every Souls game. Well, at least... 1 and 3. The old, the old 180. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay, anyways. I always step to the left after that, just in case, but I didn't that time. And I paid for it. Yeah, I've already explained the issue with, like, queuing up two-handing or... Uh, there was one other action. Queuing up... I don't remember what the other thing was. Pet your coffee? <laughs> God damn it, Numinator. <clears throat> Anthalol, thanks for seven months. Welcome back. I don't like where we are. Thank you. Yeah, wall! Ah. Uh. Okay. Let's do, uh. Okay. <laughs> Get away from that wall. Felt that one. Felt that one. So I need to mod to play One Wing Angel as background music instead. Malaria Blade of Mosquito. Oh no, Sirogen. 
Yeah. Especially with the healing, right? This boss is like huge difficulty steps up uh, over everything else I was fighting at the time in my playthrough. Like, compare this to Loretta before this? Oh my god. Loretta was a joke. I think if you fighter, like, solo with challenge, probably the hardest boss in the Souls game, yeah. I would say. Scary. I was scared of that wall. Come over here. Come over here. Get the fuck away from that wall, please. <laughs> Yeah, we've done phase two a lot. We got our pass halfway on phase two uh, yesterday. That was a cute attack, by the way. <laughs> it's because she parried the second one, but I normally hit it three times, and it cued into that attack. Luckily, it hit her. We haven't watched this today, so we'll watch it now. Do parries work if you hit the weapon with the shield? Hit the weapon. Everyone seems to use some super cards. Hit the weapon. Like, you need to be up against an enemy to parry. Wait. If you're far away, then you'll only partial parry, which doesn't actually do the parry. <laughs> enemy continues their attack. You take damage and a lot of stamina damage. Bolt parry can get around that, right, but it has half the parry frames. So, no thanks. Hello, Frox boy. Thank you. Please hurry, I have to pee. My 
my virgin ears. Lies. Oh shit. Couldn't see. It was behind the wing. This phase kind of sucks for seeing what she's doing. It's a whole different, like... You have to learn different visual cues, which suck. Uh, let me pee one sec. Bear back. <clears throat> okay. Okay. You know the Wonders Physic Flask that increases stagger power and lowers the amount of parries needed. I don't know that, Cutorius. Manage to be here today on your playthrough. Good luck on your attempts. Thank you, Valiath. Perry's. I was going to be out of position for that one. I hmm. Guess I was out of position for that one. Add some mud to phase two arena. What to block your view. Hello, Luis. How are you doing? See, I'll be yesterday playing all the ring with his feet. And I did not. I did not. I know someone has legitimately been running through Elden Ring with their feet. Uh, they were close to beating it, too. I'm not sure if they beat it already. Can you parry the anime flurry after the first portion? Not that I know of. I don't think you can parry any of it. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having that issue. <laughs> well, the issue of that ability. <laughs> just parry the flurry. That'd be amazing, though. Oh, shit. Weird. You're doing weird jumps. Stop it. I don't want to jinx it, <clears throat> but I haven't seen a stutter since we restarted.
There you go. See, with that timing, it, before she can recover, it goes into phase two. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let's start grinding phase two. So that was a dead angle. Alright. <clears throat> He's using what? Oh. Talisman, yeah. Hornet ring talisman. <laughs> Running into the rot. Whoops. Wonder how a fight between Millennia and Lady Maria would look. Maria would probably hold her own until uh, the anime attack comes out here and then she would get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Scarlet Rot is toxic, basically, yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. Maria would never hold her own because she fucking mill millennia heals. Uh, yeah, M Maria would have zero chance. Oh, what? Don't worry about it. Shit. I worried. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Yeah, when Mill Millennia's healing, I don't know that any boss would be able to beat her. Although she does have poise. I mean, she doesn't have much poise. But neither does Maria. I was worried about that. Yeah, see, that work usually works. Usually works. Twirl after grab sweating. Yeah, like seriously.
せっダメだ私はこのポジションを。Da dum dum dum. Two millennia fight, one first phase. One first phase, one second. At the same time. Why heal? You get one shot in 99. I get more damage if I'm max health. <laughs> also,、uh, if I'm afflicted with rot, I'm gonna need health. Exceedingly rare. No, you can't respawn the materials for Bolas. The Crystal Moss, you can. Shit. Uh. Uh, don't be at this angle. Kick. Shit, wait. That's bad. Yeah, don't. She's gonna do that. Alright. Now we're good. Shield doesn't really matter for the flurry. I'm using the turtle shield with barricade shield. But I used a great shield on my first playthrough, and it did, you don't even need barricade shield for that. I just lack stats for a much better shield. I was waiting for the kick in case she did it, but she didn't. Hey, Sammy, soft hands. Can see my lines turning into ones and zeros in front of your eyes and beginning to believe. Yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, I, uh, I was like falling asleep or trying to, and I was thinking about, like, not just specifically for this boss. I guess this one's kind of exacerbated it, but the idea of just having like a flow chart and building a flow chart of an enemy's AI. <clears throat> that you could look at and be like, oh shit, after this attack, what can she do? Because I have all that information in my head just from, you know, that's how I know how to react, because I know what she can react with. Hi, Neko. Um, favorite weapon so far? I like really boring weapons. Shit. So, right now, one of my favorite weapons is just the Lord Sworn Straight Sword. 
or the Lord Sworn Greatsword. I like very traditional swords. I collect swords as well, and the only swords I have are like, you know, standard medieval swords, claymore, broadsword, hand and a half, like Irish ring sword. Like they're very just basic straight swords. Have we hit phase two on level one? Yes, quite a few times. No, katanas. Uh uh. I respect them, but I don't like them. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm talking about in general, not just in a in a soul's capacity. the gut sword would be in real life. Wasn't there a... Didn't they... On one of those blacksmithing channels, didn't they make cloud sword, like, legit? It was like 80 pounds or something like that. Don't like katanas, Sekiro confirmed. Mm -hmm. And they dropped it on a car. Oh, shit. I actually don't have any tips for the multi-clone attack. I honestly am... I've seen that you can run away from it, but you might need to be at close range in order to do that. It's very likely I'm going to get there and just die. Um... I believe she spawns six specters, though, if that helps. And then she does the charge. Whoa. Camera. Shit, I knew it was a bad angle. Fuck. Blade. It was weird. I got the camera flipped around when she scooped up. How do you feel about late game raw strength builds in comparison to int and bleed builds? <clears throat> I mean, they're obviously worse raw strength builds, but they're still good. I was figuring the reason for Cloud's leather waist corset was for back support wielding a sword. You need it, man. That's some heavy shit. wrong with bleeding. Saw my death flash before my eyes. But if you are bleeding, consider a hospital. That's true.
shit, I'm dead. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. Trying to predict too much. Turtle power. Uh. Oh yeah, I, so I don't really care about the damage when she's getting up. I just do it because I might as well do something. And I, will ra I would rather, much rather attack early than later. Also, it seems that she has different recoveries. Sometimes she can get hit very early in her recovery and sometimes not. I thought at first that that was queuing into when she would do the sword flurry for the first time, but that doesn't seem to be the case. close enough there. So my opinion on the Godskin duo? Ask me after I fight them on Soul Level 1. Sushi on main, nine months. Welcome back. Thanks for the resub. Here we dodge backwards into her thrust to punish and she dodges backwards. No. No, I did that a lot on my greatsword build. Right? I would dodge with her and then do a rolling R1 into her. But it would, it would pretty much always land. Supposed to do an R2.
Yeah, damn. <clears throat> okay, so I have to wait for that before I can go in. The scoop will get you. Just, I'm just glad you don't get rot when you are near her. That would be so much fun. I do though. I'm using Misery Cord, twenty plus twenty five. Now pairing's exactly the same in phase two. The only difference is uh, the visuals. It's a different set of visual cues. Like, I mean, it's literally the same, but her wings cover shit, so it's harder to see. But as far as the parry timing and what attacks you, she does and the attacks you parry, it's exactly the same. Lokes, thanks for 58 months, by the way. Welcome back. Weird. Well, whoops. Why did I go in for a repost? <laughs> Weird. I don't know where that muscle memory came from. Would it be useful to proc bleed or frost on her? Yes. That's why, but I have in the, chi the title that I'm specifically not doing bleed or frost. Way to get more of the heal item itself. We'll figure that out when it happens. Oh, uh, the. Yeah, the bolus. Frost actually, it does the damage and then also increases damage taken by like 10% for a while. What's up, Henri? Aegis Warren, thank you for the prime sub. Shit. Yeah, I, I got back into my assumption of her doing the thing, which it doesn't matter. I don't need to react particularly fast for it, but just easy to distract yourself. Don't step on the flowers. Well, when we did, uh, on my playthrough, when I did Colossal Greatsword, we did 2,000 damage without the crit ring on Repost. So, yeah, like a Misery Cord with like a 60 dex build. With damage optimizations, probably a upwards of 3k. Well, that's... what? Okay, put on that RTSR, right? Misery cord. Misery cord. Oh. Dude, I think I was too far away. In 2.5k with a heavy plus 24 misery cord around 60 strength. Heavy? What? What is the scaling on that with heavy? 
It is the highest crit weapon, yeah. The shield that he's repaired? Buckler. The buckler. Spacing matters because she, you have to be in the right position, otherwise you cannot parry. If you're too far away, or if she's like slightly past you, you will not be able to parry it. You will only dead angle, and she'll just kill you. Buckler is better than parry dagger. Yeah. So I have to walk forward for her twirl to the right. I have to walk back and right for her twirl to the left. And pretty much everything, I just need to be directly in front of her and stand there. Now, I tried to do a backwards parry on my first playthrough and I didn't, couldn't get it to work. <clears throat> yeah, the dodge sequence, actually I paired it down one dodge. After the full block, you wait for her to start the second flurry. Soon as that second flurry is, she's about to swing for it, dodge forward right, immediately again dodge forward right, and then dodge back with no spacing in between those dodges. And that's it. And you can just stand there. That's what I do. Here, ready? Wait, forward right, now, right, and back. That's it. Three dodges. Forward right, forward right, forward right, and back. Easy. This is the hardest souls boss I've ever fought, yeah. With you know, solo and challenge stuff. Hardest in terms of execution, I would say. Although... Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things that go into what makes a boss difficult. Here we go again. Wait for the forward right. Now, forward right again, back. That's it. Merc Drake, thanks for 22 months. Welcome back. Here we go again. Now, now, now. Zuruk, thanks for twenty one months. Welcome back. Nice. Just skip that first repose. Explain why I use the build I use. It's high damage. It's high damage, but less cheesy than I would like. 
Is this the hardest game to soul level one? Uh, I don't think so, no. Not if you use everything at your disposal. If you limit yourself, maybe. Goatman782, thank you for the fresh sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. I'm gonna top off mana. Shit. Dude, suck. That was fine. Getting back in after the explosions is probably what's causing me the most grief. See right now? Yikes, dude. Saw it, too. There she goes with the shades. Yeah, that's just all on me. Shield Maiden Lily, 14 months. Welcome back. Golden Rooster Prime Sub. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. No, it's not too fast. I just kind of let my mind wander for a sec. We thought we were bad at repairing bosses. Now I have to do it three times the amount. Yeah, all right. At least it'll stop people saying that parrying is choosing bosses. <laughs> that's, that's a good... Good side to it. Wolf stack, welcome back. Whoops. Jack of Hearts, thanks for the fresh sub. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Welcome back.
damn it. Yeah, I don't know why I tried to attack there. I should just keep doing the parries. <laughs> Slaps do nothing. It looked like she was not following up after I dodged behind her. Shield's upgraded. Yeah, do we have a clip? Maybe if we make a clip of me explaining why she doesn't die. I can ex explain it one more time for a clip. <laughs> so there's a bug with Millennia transitioning into phase two. Where if she dies from repost, she will wind up with one health in phase two. So I believe as a bandage fix, they made it so that she cannot transition while she's being reposted or recovering from the repost animation. And for that reason, she will not die if you just continually repost her. I guess they assumed that nobody was going to be doing that. You thought that was multiplayer only? Well, yes, because you can't kill her while, she's, while you're reposting her in single player. But, um... Yeah, so she can die in multiplayer. Um, like, the fix prevents that from happening in solo, right? But it also kind of breaks it if you're reposting her only for damage. She will never transition if all you do is parry repost. When was it fixed? No, it's not fixed. That's what I'm saying. The Them preventing her from transitioning phases is their way of quickly fixing the issue they had because they didn't they either couldn't track down what was causing it or they didn't have time or whatever the fix is that she does not transition to phase two from a repulse the error is that she spawns in phase two with one health Malinfant, five months. Welcome back. Now playing not Elden Ring. Oh. Thank you for the clip. Yeah, that'll help. I don't mind explaining it, but like, it's a lot to think about and talk through while I'm doing the fight. Shit.
Progress. Progress. I, re I don't remember what that being that hard to dodge, but... I wonder if I should just keep running away. Should I keep running away for that, or... I expected as much from thee. Do I run away and then towards? I don't know. You can't run away, you have to No no no, I mean run away into the dodge. I always dodge. But what I what I do there is I run away, and then as she comes towards me, I dodge toward where she came from. Um run into her. The only thing is she starts it right next to me. So she's under me. So into her is not going to change. Um, you, away. you ran away so far you don't even play anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm doing better about yeah managing all her stuff in that phase. But see I learned that after she does the, the flurry she can do the scoop slam. So I wait on that. I got to pee one second. Right. Pretty much cementing that this is how I'm always going to fight her. And it's just going to be that much easier when we get here on, like, higher level builds. Hunok, 69 months. Welcome back. Anima Magic gifted a sub to Jared. Nobo with a resub. Thank you very much. This phase is now, like, a comfort zone. You know, it's like to the level of, like, Sekiro or something where it... You just... It just feels very good to do. Even though, even though you fuck up. <laughs> a no parry millennia run would be cool. Easier, though. Will you do an Escort Souls for Elden Ring Escort Ring? Perhaps. Perhaps. RNG can be our, our savior, though, in Phase 2 if she does less of those damn rot flurries. I need to see the other abilities, you know? Need to learn them.
shit. Recovered. <clears throat> All right, I'm not going to transition her that way anymore. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep parrying. And then I have to remember to... Well, you know what? Maybe instead of reposting her down to zero health from that point, I just do charge our twos or something. We Ray, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. Both of those, Tominator. Careful. Okay, Millennia, you're my comfort phase. Comfort phase. <laughs> comfort phase. <clears throat>
Should have kept going forward. Except back. Gareth, seven months. Welcome back. Thanks for the resub. Oh, and the gift to Lana and Thorn. I appreciate you. Yeah, if we run out of boluses, I will... I will work on learning the full dodge. But for now, I'm okay with it, as long as... As long as we got him. She could not be a jerk and, like, you know, not do that attack as much in phase two, but she can do it all she wants in phase one. I don't care. I got plenty of FP for that. Phase two is where it counts. And I still haven't gotten a chance to see the other attacks.
Jesus, man. I'm I'm catching everything she's throwing, but like She being rude as fuck, dude. <clears throat> Almost everything. The longer she extends the fight, the more likely it is I'm going to make a mistake, right? And I already have however many parries. Not surprised to see me here? I don't know. I kind of am with how, how well we're parrying her here. I kinda want I was hoping that would be a win because it was so so difficult in phase two, but we handled it mostly. And then I just failed the regular parry, Sag. I'm not worried about damage. Damage is great. Funny how I see the same tell when she charges up the uppercut versus versus the quick attack. That's why I accidentally parry there sometimes.
Damn. That one goes fast. Or far. Brutal. Brutal. That's a gauntlet, man. Hooey! So, I guess if I sprint like that, I can get away from, like, everything except for the last one and maybe her actual one. And it comes from slightly to the left. Luckily, it's been easier to handle than I thought. So, uh... That's good. He dodged into it to not get hit. All six of the attacks. God bless that turtle shield. You're using the same? Stamrogen's nice. The difference between normal parry and buckler parry is eight frames. About one eighth of a second. Is, uh... <clears throat> is the difference. Mm -hmm. Eight frames is a lot. Yeah, it's more than double. Faster wind up, too. If you're parrying and you're not using the buckler, well, shit. You got godlike timing then. But also, you can make it a lot easier on yourself. <laughs> Over here, Millennia. Saying hi to the fog gate. Oh, yeah, that was big dead angle. I didn't walk to the left. Regular parry requires queuing up parry animation. Yeah, like, parrying her super fast one is probably really rough with that buckler. With that buckler. Golden parry is just ranged. It's no different parry timings than regular parry. As far as I know. Okay, Aurelia, 696. 96. 9696. I do not believe the uppercut is parryable, but I'm not certain. Not gonna try throwing it in there now. It's still a damage window.
Should have R2'd. Hey, what's up, Jerky? Yeah, we just had a very close attempt. Had her like 25%, or something like that. And the thing is, we're handling... I'm handling everything so well in Phase 2. I think I think it's inevitable. But I got killed once by the... Uh, I got killed by the Spectre attack. Which I thought I had a pretty safe way of avoiding, but... No, it actually tagged me. Not what I wanted to do, but there you go.
I see it. I see it now. Okay. <clears throat> I saw the one that came to stab me. It's a remnant of another specter, which is awesome. Shit, I ran out of room. Whoops. Uh, let me get some more water. I'll be right back. <laughs> Walls. Man, I'm enjoying this fight the more the more I do it. It's great. Feels really good. I'm using all damage up talismans. Um, Radagon Sword Seal. Blue Dancer Charm. Dagger Talisman. And Ritual Sword Talisman. For as much damage as we can get. Outside of RTSR. Running out of boluses.
<clears throat> Facetious, thanks for the three month resub. Welcome back. Rainbow as well. I miss you. Sorry about that. And Destructor. Appreciate you guys. I could have gotten back in with that combo, but yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why that parry missed. So I got Millennium with normally level character while I'm watching is definitely something. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend parries for uh, first time clears of the boss. That make it a lot harder. Oh, 10 of those left. Zero damage with the buckler. I'm parrying is what I'm doing. Rinse wind. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate you. All uppercase. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the wolf pack. The build is so, uh, level one. 20 plus 25 misery cord. Buckler. With some damage enhancing talismans. Tiber and thanks for the prime sub. Precision, welcome back.
Took that hit. That was a little scary. Nice. My goodness. See all that practice first playthrough uh, paid off. Here's the final build for those wondering. Misery Chord plus 25. Buckler. Star of the show. Great Turtle Shell plus 12. Arbitrary, but Barricade Shield important. Radigan Stor Sword Seal. Blue Dancer Charm. Dagger Talisman. Ritual Sword Talisman. We didn't run out of boluses. She didn't do it very much that time, luckily. Woo! My goodness. My goodness. It was practice. First playthrough, yeah. I mean, like, the first, like, six hours were trying to learn with different strats, but then once we pared down the parry one, I was like, okay, that's gonna do it. <laughs> Level one PvP with that sword. <laughs> I expected as shit, dude, me. I can't thank all you guys. There's too many of you amazing folks, dudes. Uh, shit. Fedgehog, Pogarithmic, Tiny Bobcat, Mari Makes, 
souls at zero, all with five gifties. And then uh, Avigan Tamos I with a primer, red me. mongoose bits, Andy Echo, math precision, cold ramen, half who prints, 500 biddies, three CO trot, SEO trot, Asgar, and Croxy Wolf, also with five gifties. Thank each of us individually or else. I thank you guys. I appreciate you very much. Whoo wee! I expected as much from thee. I'm gonna need a moment to uh, come down from that. <sighs> My goodness. My goodness. Can you see the sword again so you can check what ash? No ash. Oh, Royal Knight's Resolve. I don't use it. I don't use it. It's just standard upgrade path. The ash doesn't matter. You could use Royal Knight's Resolve, but you have to get a parry. We have to get a repost within eight seconds of, equi of equipping it. Or casting it, rather. Still looking forward to final fight, though. Not going to lie. Yeah. F uh, first phase, we parry a lot. So that'll be fun. And that'll be much easier than this. Second phase is where I'm going to be like, what do I do? What is this fight? E Buddy Brown gifted a sub to Larry Eldridge. Thank you, Buddy Brown. And Witty, closing eyes. Thank you all guys so much. Okay. Now back to fingering people with the ringed finger. <laughs> uh, we don't need these anymore. Don't need that. Yeah, the flyer doesn't show up until you sit. You use it to, like, um, enhance a needle or whatever for the... In order to remove the the frenzied flame I effect on your body, right? Something like me. that? I haven't actually done it. Uh, the Elden Ringed Finger? Yes. Ooh, uh, flasks. Reallocate. I expected nice. as much from thee. Can I show the finger description? Sure, I'll be right back. <laughs> 